Hi, my name is Jason. I'm a student services contractor for the United States Environmental Protection Agency, uh, currently working in the Sustainable Communities Research Program. Uh, essentially, my job is a research assistant. We're currently researching how various ecosystem, environmental, and social services impact overall human well-being. Uh, an example of an ecosystem service is the regulation of the quality of our air by trees. My job duties really vary depending on what stage of the project we're at. It's a very dynamic and orga organic environment. Um, so I'll just briefly go over the major things I do on a daily basis. Um, I do literature reviews, so I do a lot of reading, and I'll, we also catalog where different publications are in the context of how they relate to our research. Do a lot of writing, including uh, publications, technical reports, and white papers, which are papers that don't ever get published, but they're there to make sure we're on track with what we need to do. Uh, we have a lot of meet meetings and discussions, um, both within our individual group and with the groups that we collaborate with. Uh, data collection is a, a major component of what we do. Uh, we work on publicly available data. So there's a lot of going out to various Census Bureau, um, uh, General Social Survey, um, bunch, dozens, of dozen, dozens of different um, programs that collect data. And we go out and pull their data. We, we look at it, see if it, it will work for us. We assess its uh, uh, quality in terms of it, when it's collected annually, monthly, uh, if it's going to continue to be collected. We then pull it in, which sometimes is, you know, involves clicking and downloading 50 different tables. Uh, you know, we put it together in some sort of uh, file and clean it and make sure all everything's lined up um, correctly. We organize it, uh, which includes uh, sort of restructuring the data so that it fits and we can do our analysis with it. Um, this involves a lot of uh, reading code books, so you have to go in and do a lot of reading of, of how the variables are, uh, are coded. Um, and then, of course, we have to write up metadata, which is data on what the data is. Uh, then we also do, uh, uh, we construct our measures, and including imputing, standardizing, aggregating, and quantifying uncertainty um, using conceptual and mathematical theory. Uh, and then finally, we do uh, analysis. We look at univariate and bivariate ca characteristics of the data. We model the data with some sort of mathematical model. Uh, there's a lot of programming involved. And then we uh, look at a huge amount of output and see if it makes sense. In general, this is a standard workday job, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. But it's flexible. They'll, they tend to work with you on your school schedule. The stress of the job varies. Um, mainly, it comes from conflicting ideas. Um, again, since it's so broad, there are a lot of different ideas about how to approach a problem. Uh, and that can be stressful in trying to resolve uh, what the appropriate approach should be. Communication barriers as well, because there are different disciplines and different people use different lingo to express the same thing. Qualifications of this job are usually uh, placed in the contract announcement when you bid on it, uh, but they are usually very broad, and that's because this is uh, transdisciplinary work. In other words, it, the d work we do crosses a lot of different disciplines. You might be working with money on one area, so looking into economics, and then you might be working on uh, environmental things, so you're looking at ecological data. Um, math and statistics de degrees are always very beneficial because of the lack of experimental design and control inherent in this kind of work. Uh, programming is also very beneficial because you, you're working with millions of data records and it's difficult to hit, uh, work through them by hand or even in a, uh, Excel or anything like that. Uh, it also helps understanding some of the comp computational issues you might encounter. I actually have degrees in both math mathematics and psychology. I think psychology is a great degree for a field like this, specifically a transdisciplinary field, because psychology is so broad and it does inherently cross a lot of different disciplines. There are several great things about working in this field. Uh, first of all, location, I have to admit, uh, I work right out on the beach and it's amazing. I can walk outside and look over the water. It's great. It's um, I do get a lot of publications working in this field, which is another great stepping stone, especially if you're thinking of getting into a, a doctorate or uh, sort of advancing your scientific career. 
Um, it's also very uh, rewarding. There's a lot of opportunities for growth because you are constantly stretching yourself to understand new things. It's also very, very challenging cognitively. You're constantly thinking. Uh, I personally think that's a great thing. It's also a double-edged sword though because at the end of the day, I'm just cognitively drained because I'm thinking the whole time. And you can't just slack off and just not really think about what you're doing. Um, so that could be a sort of best or worst sort of thing that happens. Another part of contract work in general that you have to think about, especially if you have a family to consider, is there are really no benefits associated with it other than just a paycheck. Uh, you, you don't have uh, paid vacations. You don't have uh, benefits such as health care and stuff like that. So it's just something to think about if you want to get into contract work. I wouldn't let the job description intimidate you. I know sometimes when you read a job, it looks like there's no way you could qualify for that particular position. Just remember that a lot of the things you learn in your degree, uh, whatever it is, uh, it, you've already gained the tools, a lot, of, many of the tools that you actually need to be successful in the position, um, whether it be a psych degree or math degree it seems like you need to know everything. In reality, you don't need to know everything, but you need to be able to learn anything. Um, you also need to understand if you get into this kind of work, um, practical versus statistical significance. Um, you, need, you need to realize that what you say and how you say it may have a impact on society. So you need to be careful and sensitive to how that, the results of your analysis might play out and be very sure if, that there's an actual finding. Uh, and then finally, uh, and very important, um, I would say if you want to get in, involved with this kind of research or even uh, go into graduate school, definitely get involved with uh, research, not just like a class project, but real research, even if it's just data collecting. There's a lot of things that they just can never teach you in a class, things about just how to manage data and, and how to clean it. And that's really, in research, a large part of what you do.